Bishop Dwayne Royster. I'm the political director for the PICO National Network. It is America's largest faith-based organizing movement with 45 federations in 22 states and three countries around the world. We work on uh, issues around trying to create a beloved community uh, and helping uh, to with folk with issues around immigration and mass incarceration, uh, housing, education, um, health care, and so forth. Coming to the Fearless Cities Conference, I think it's been very important for me. I'm a former city council person in Norristown, Pennsylvania, a longtime resident of the city of Philadelphia, born and raised there, and now residing uh, in the Washington, D.C. area. I'm reminded that uh, we want people to be able to control their own destiny and to be able to determine their future together. Uh, and that's done best at the local level. And so I'm very excited here to hear about uh, how countries in Europe and across other, uh, other cities around the world are doing this work to be able to fight against um, uh, federal governments sometimes that are not working in the best interest of the people that are living in the communities uh, that we care deepest about. I mean, originally being from Philadelphia, uh, one of our city council leaders is here. Um, I'm actually excited. We just recently uh, in Philadelphia uh, helped to elect a very progressive district attorney, which is responsible for our, our criminal justice system. Um, and we're really pushing the envelope with getting somebody who was a civil rights attorney who, is, who has fought against the city over and over again and now become the district attorney and to begin to really change the tide about how we're treating criminal justice, in particular as it relates to uh, people of color and primarily African Americans in Philadelphia. You know, this little to me uh, really it has everything to do with the people's power. The people to be able to uh, have a say in their city, uh, to be about radical democracy, uh, to be about the issues of taking back their neighborhoods, taking back control of their communities, and being able to have a say in their collective destiny.